welcome to Deb's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be preparing some easy instant pot with pinto beans and then we're going to refry them. And I'm going to refry them at the request that I've been getting in my YouTube channel. If you have an instant pot, you can have pinto beans in one hour. Yes, one hour. And you don't even soak them. To make a pot of beans is very budget friendly and simple ingredients. All you need is beans, water, and salt. Back in the day, they used to cook them in this little old fashioned pot. My mom, this is my mom's, you can see it's wild love. And you would have to watch your beans for hours and hours and you'd have to soak them before that. And then you'd have to keep watching, adding water or they might burn. Today we're gonna do just simple ingredients and I'm gonna make it for you in the instant pot because a lot of you have been asking me for recipes in the instant pot. And who wants to heat up your stove in the summer heat? So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure out five cups of dry pinto beans. And I'm using these triple clean beans, but you it's never triple clean. You always have to check them. And I'm using five cups in the Instant Pot today, so let's get that in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse them. They're triple clean, but I put them in this bowl, and you're going to basically rinse them until the water runs clear to get all the debris or dirt. And when you're putting the beans in cup by cup, kind of look in the cup, see if you see any pebbles or anything. I didn't see any, so I just put them in here, and now I'm rinsing them. So now that you have a full bowl, I'm just going to drain it off. And if you see any beans that look old, shriveled, brown, take them out. Okay, so there's one. We're going to do that about two more times. Okay, here's the third bowl. And as you can see, the water's clear and it's running clear. So we're done draining our beans. Okay, you don't have to soak these beans, people. Um, a lot of people soak them because they say the gas, you know, whatever. But these are no soak recipes, so we're putting them in. And we're going to put four liters of water, or actually 16 cups, liquid measuring cups of water. I already have four, I already have eight in there, so I'm putting in eight more. And there you go. Easy as that. At this point, you would just add salt. But in Deb's kitchen, you know me, I tweak it up because I like my beans to have flavor. And I measured, okay, I'm gonna measure out my onion, which I put dehydrated minced onion. You can certainly use fresh onion. And I, instead of salt, I use Lari seasoning salt because to me that gives it a delicious flavor. And I'm using my Pampered Chef stacking measuring cups. I love these. I'm going to put a link in the description below, but look, they snap together and you can just put them in your drawer. doesn't take out room and then here they are. And as you notice, they have an oblong shape and most of the times you can't fit a teaspoon or a tablespoon into a spice jar. These are elongated, so that really helps. Okay, so we're going to be putting in three tablespoons of Lari seasoning salt. Because once we put in our salt, we cannot open the Instant Pot. It's a pressure cooker, and once you close it, you're going to basically wait till it's done. So we have three tablespoons, and I've already made this, so that's what works for me. If you have salt restrictions, by all means, put one tablespoon. Okay, now I'm going to put three tablespoons of minced onion. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, now comes the question, the Instant Pot. A lot of people have told me that they bought an Instant Pot, but they haven't used it because they're afraid of the Instant Pot. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. I'm using the Instant Pot brand, and I've already plugged it in, and it says off. I'm going to be using the pressure cook function to cook beans. We're going to cook it one hour, and we're going to let it slow release. 
and this is the top of your instant pot lid this is the red button that when it's flat there's no pressure in this pot and this is a, a venting this is when you let steam out this is what we use to cook sealing so we're going to seal our pot and get started okay put the lid on make sure the arrows are aligned and these two arrows are aligned and we're going to close our pot and when you close it you hear a little tinkling sound then we're going to put our lever up here to steamy sealing. sealing and then we get busy starting our pot let's press this and it has five minutes we're, this is plus side. We're going to add minutes at high pressure. You see it says high pressure. We're going to add minutes till we get to one hour. Okay, we're at one hour. We're set, folks. You see it's pressure cook and it's normal. It says on. That means it's starting to build pressure. What's going to happen is this little red gizmo here, it's going to raise up to, it's going to rise to the total position that's upright. Once it's like that, you do not ever try to open your pot. Okay, so it's all, that's all there is to it, set for an hour. If you're in a hurry and you have dinner coming, there's my little grandson, Kayla. Come here, Kayla. Oh, I love my grandbaby. Say hi. Hi. Say I'm in Grandma's kitchen. Okay. Okay. When you have grandkids, that happens. You just popped in. So we're going to cook these beans for one hour, and then we're going to be ready. We're not going to try to um, release the steam. We're going to let it release naturally, and that will take about a half hour. And when this red button is flat, you can open your pot. So I'll see you later. Okay, here we are. It's been a few hours. It, I cooked it an hour. I let it slow release, and I went on an errand when I came home. I opened up my beans. Here they are. Perfectly cooked. You can eat them any way you like. You can pour them in a bowl like my husband likes to do. You just eat them straight out. Or you can refry them, which we'll be doing later. Just because someone asked, how do you refry beans? Well, have our fresh instant pot beans and we'll be frying them up and let me taste them. Mm. So there you have it. Easy, budget friendly instant pot pinto greens. And don't forget, if you want to see more easy instant pot videos, don't forget to go and like, subscribe, share, and Thank you.